As a hobby continues to develop, it's always nice to see companies evolve. Ecodis is a company that primarily focused on in-stock pre-built plastic keyboards that are ready to go outside of the box. Switches, stabilized keys that were loot properly, keycaps, and you just type on it and go. Unfortunately, the aesthetic was a little off, but they had a good supply when it was really hard to get keyboards. The in-stock options were kind of garbage, the group buys were really long, and anything used was like two or three times the cost that it was originally. So you didn't want to overpay for something when someone else paid less, right? So they definitely had a spot the market back then in 2023 they're going for group buys unfortunately but they're doing that because they want to provide a full custom mechanical keyboard experience with cnc aluminum and heavy weights the showcase is sponsored but doesn't affect my review the competition for this space is very stiff especially group buys so they have an uphill battle here The Super OnePlus One TKL is a keyboard with a modular aesthetic. Notice I said aesthetic and not necessarily function. It'd be cool if they could break this off, but if you could break it off, there's gonna be a gaping hole at all times, so it's probably gonna sound garbage. But we can dream, right? It has a striking aesthetic that is less ultra minimalism and a little bit more interesting and cute, I dare say. Every piece is CNC aluminum, and there is a PVD stainless steel weight on the back which is nice and mirror finish. For some reason, we have a weird obsession with shiny things, so we're basically all cats. The blocky aesthetic works well. I like the color contrast for the navigation, the arrows, and then the main portion of the TKL. And it still kind of retains that clean look of the back where it's more or less a box on wedge, kind of. So it doesn't look too wild where you start changing the frame of a keyboard and have things sticking out like sharp edges and round pieces and weird stuff like that but i definitely like how it pops from the top the indicator on the left has a nice touch when you hit caps lock it lights up so it's pretty nice the badge on the front is understated and you can't really tell that it says iconix until you look at it closely so while they get their branding it's not that loud where it screams at you these switches have an rgb window per key so it pops very well although it is an rgb keyboard at least the switches are south facing and the pcb is five pin this has the most compatibility with cherry profile keycaps which is the most popular from what i could tell if you like SA keycaps, you're kind of weird. Sorry. You're valid. You're just rare. You're special. But when you look closely at this, you may be off put. This is a T kill, but there is no blocker in the top between the num row and the F row. That is weird. And there's no blocker here either. Iconix does some unique layouts. I talked to people about this layout and sometimes they prefer it so they don't have to reach as far to hit the F keys. But to me, it looks a bit cramped. There's no space here, right? And every F key is in line with the number below. Typically, there's a stagger, right? And I can feel for it with my eyes closed. Here, I don't really know what I'm touching. So it makes it a little bit hard if you already have the muscle memory for the F keys. Of course, this is a preference point, but it's definitely a bit weird in my opinion. It keeps the board more compact, but if you're going for a TKL, why did you need compact in the first place? Getting into the sound of the board, they took a very safe route here. They basically filled it to the brim with PE foam, case foam, and PCB foam. This ensures there's no hollowness or ping across the board, but it leaves the sound to be a bit one-dimensional. I've always praised Equinix for their stabilizers and they kind of missed the mark here, just a little bit. Nothing a quick care package from our affiliate store DiviniKey won't solve. Just dab a little bit of 25G0 using the DiviniKey brush into the rear of the stem and bada bing bada boom it's fixed. Still not ideal that you have to mod something in this mostly pre-built custom but it is what it is. This board is extremely easy to put together because, well, the switches were already in the board and the stabilizer is already done. So all you have to do is put keycaps on there and you're ready to go. So this really isn't a DIY at all, but it's a nice hefty product that feels good in the hand, shiny, and doing the last step makes you feel accomplished.
no looping switches, no applying P-foams, no installing rubber dampeners. It's all ready to go. And I really especially hate installing P-foam. You have to like make sure it lines up and then insert the switches without moving the foam. And it's just a big pain in the butt. In terms of sound, I think this is peak 2023 pre-built keyboard. Yeah. That's, that's Thalka, right? It's taken a lot of the notes from the Jelly Epoch and other QK boards and stuffed it all into one keyboard. The sound is deep, full, rounded, and not sharp in any way. The Moonstone switches are box stem reduced travel switches, long pull, that are designed to thock hard, and they do. This configuration is the thocky sound that a lot of people want when they get into custom keyboards. They want to get it right away. What is the thockiest keycap? What is the thockiest switch? What is the thockiest keyboard? Does the F18X thock? Does this thock? Does that thock? You may have your opinions on what that word means and whether or not you like it, but you can't argue that it's not popular. So overall, this preview package is a quick way to get a finished thock keyboard in 2023 that doesn't feel like a cheap toy. Now, how do you buy it? Well, that's the rub. It's a group buy. This might be the nicest combo puller I've seen. No cap. Equinix typically does in-stock runs, but those are cheaper plastic keyboards. This board here is $349 and it's a group buy and it at least comes with a tri-mode PCB. That's not as common in custom keyboards. So you get your dongle, you get your Bluetooth, and you get your wire. So you can bring this to work and not have to worry about bringing an extra cable. But because it's a group buy, it's a little bit of a tough sell. The configuration I have here isn't the base price. It's actually additional $49 for the switches to be installed in there. And in the end, that makes this a $400 group buy board. And if you buy in the first week, which should be a few more days after this video is live, you get free keycaps. And the keycaps, uh, they're all right. The alphas are all right, but uh, the mods and the navigation are painful. Uh, pa pa C. Oh my God. Although it's a group buy, it's intended to be a fast group buy. It's intended to arrive November 2023, so only two months after the GB and September 25th. I actually believe that they can meet that. They are not newcomers to the manufacturing space. In 2023, there's a lot of options. Equinix is differentiating themselves here by going after non-standard layouts and adding unique features such as individually CNC pieces. And because they're mostly already assembled, it can save you a lot of time in the build process. If that's for you, this is a solid keyword to go for. Maybe try the E-Yellow? Just kidding, don't do that. That's weird. Only weird people use EL keyboards. But try something quirky at least. They have different CNC pieces, so try maybe. I, I really do like this one. Let me know what you think of the board in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.